Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and last day we discussed about the new camera row 12.3 Today we'll retouch the photo with that camera row that means the new camera row 12.3 and uh, this one the image was like that and after giving the output that means we are getting the output like this by using the camera row for retouching most commonly I want to give thanks to Virginia Y, a uh, famous photographer and um, commercial photographer in the world and uh, this photo I got from the uh, Devdash and thanks both of them to giving this type of photo and for the tutorials and let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so I'm turning off all the steps I'm just uh, making group and uh, like uh, giving here the name the previous okay fine and keeping this one under okay this one is the image we will edit that means at first i'll make copy by press ctrl or command j so after copying this one we get this one i will remove the spot 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 that means we'll remove the spot from this photo and this one is the main and giving the name main and spot remove how to remove the spot we will use the camera raw filter for remove the spots we know that in new camera raw filter we got a new uh, tools which is uh, very helpful to use for the spot removal go to the filter camera raw filter if you want to update your camera raw filter please check out my video description for the new camera version or camera raw version uh, download link please check it out and here are some tools you know that last day i discussed about all the panels and the settings if you want you can watch that video as well i'm providing the link over there that means the right top here the spot healing brush tool separately you will get the these things and you can press the b from the keyboard you'll get the spot removal tool okay after that how to work with that make this this one zoom and after making it zoom here is spot and you can uh, manage the size that means the brush size and the feather that means outer side of the brush main brush the dotted lines and here the opacity so i'll make the opacity 100 percent and the size that is a little bit down okay you can control the size by using third bracket opening or closing so here i want to delete this one suppose select once you can remove that portion or move that portion where you want to make it clone it's a totally uh, like clone it's taking the non-affected area and giving the affected area over there instead of this so you can you can make it more precisely done if you give time over there so here you can make it more zoom okay that's good this portion and these hairy areas that's good this portion here this area it will take couples of times and you can take time and i'll going to fast and forward one thing is that if you want to want if you want to show or watch the spot properly here is the visualize spot you'll get the spot more properly uh, in this portion so you can delete from here Okay, after removing the spot, we'll work with another uh, tools, which is the here the adjustment tool or brush tool. Actually, brush tool is more amazing to use or smooth the skin. So if I make it zoom, here are some options. So we will just click once to give a brush over there, the anchor point over there, and these anchor point settings could be like that the exposure a little bit done contrast highlight will be a little bit down shadow up white up and texture a little bit and clarity 
and I'll make the gradient down actually. So if I brush over there, suppose here, the clarity will be reduced. That means the changing over there. So here D is down, texture a little bit down. Now you can brush over here. So if you brush over here, don't brush too much. Otherwise, it will be more like uh, smooth and not too much realistic so if you want to make this one realistic you have to brush this one carefully in one direction the most common thing is that one direction brush is most important so when you are brushing this one one direction is good that means you can brush over that in this portion you don't have to brush like that you have to brush in one direction Okay, and this area. Okay, I'm making it a little bit zoom out, making the brush size bigger. One direction brush, you have to do that. And if you need, you can make the saturation desaturate a little bit. And these areas. Let's see the before actually this the before and after okay this good and making it more zoom and we will work with the eye so taking another plus that means another brush and select once over here that means new brush exposure up and exposure if you want you can make the exposure up so making it smaller according to the cornea and brushing over there okay that's good and you can pick color from here this color or this color blue color actually that's good and making this one more highlight that's good and the shadow as well and clarity texture that's good and new anchor point i'll just over there and here the dehaze options i'll make it zero clarity zero texture zero and i want to make it more white that's why i want to give the color that is white and hit ok and you have to make this one more zoom for the white area of the eyes so you can just give like that that's good this portion don't worry you can control over the um, the full portion if you need uh, suppose here uh, you want to make it more down a little bit down and shadow a little bit down let's see and here the before and after and then i'm going to the adjustment now in this adjustment i'll do the basic correction from here the highlight will be down a little bit and now i will add texture in a face and the clarity i'll make it a little bit down and then overall it's working over there and the highlight will be down and the saturation a little bit down and for that color mixture here i'll uh, give the luminance of the orange color up that's good and the red that's up and the saturation up and then the split toning here i'll add color a little bit color which color of the face you want to give if you want you can give something like this okay the highlight color and the shadow color balance this one before and after so after that hit the ok button so after making the ok before and after now i will apply the shadow and highlighting that is a dodge and burn you can call so two things or two copy controller command j controller command j one is the highlight and another one is shadow okay fine so turning off the shadow the highlight making it screen mode right press blending options from here here is the black portion 
that is the underlining layer find out the highlight portion and press the alter option button it will divide and adjust the highlight with that okay that's good and hit okay after that making it mask making this one go to the image layer and apply image and hit okay so after that turn on this one that is the shadow this case i'll make it multiply right press blending options in this case i'll work with the white portion of the underlining layer press the alter option button make it divide and shadow portion will be like that and you go okay after that mask it and after masking this one go to the image and apply image in this case i'll make this one invert and hit okay so these two things that means the shadow and highlight i'm making it another group that is the dodge bun giving the small name dodge and burn okay fine and mask it again and after that go to the image apply image and uncheck the invert option and hit okay so here the shadow highlighting that means dodge and burn our main image was like that non-edited image and after uh, using the dodge burn before dodge burn you were getting the skin retouch and doing the dodge burn you were getting like that so after that selecting these two making it group and making this one another copy or you can make it a smart object convert to smart object and now i will apply another uh, color or color filter from here go to the filter nick collection color effects pro 4 so i do love to use um, that nick collection for the all kind of photos this one is a bunch of the uh, filters you can use easily so if you want to get the download link of the nick collection please check out my video description so in this nick collection you'll find out lots of method over there from here i'm using the cross processing lots of methods in this panel or sub method which one is perfect for your photography you have to choose out here l02 is good for me and hit the ok button it will taking time to load up and providing you the final output so let's see the final image the main image non-edited raw type image was like that and after editing in a camera raw filter and adding some dodge and burn and adding filter from the nick collection you are getting the output result is like that Hope that you learn a lot from this video that's all for today hope that all are safe please stay safe stay at home don't go outside keep me in your prayers as well until the next video i am asmr signing out today and bye bye